everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on Machine Learning Data Science Terminologies series. In this video, we will discuss about autoregression. Autoregression is a um, time series forecasting technique. So that's the that's a straightforward answer. So autoregression is a time series forecast forecast technique. Okay. How does it work? Well, let's say you have a sales of uh, a certain product. Let's say sales of a cars in a different months. Let's say January, February, March, April, May, and June, and so on and so forth. And we have a sales of uh, these cars on January, February. Let's say January we have sold 200 cars. February we sold 250 cars and uh, March we have sold let's say to 20 cars and I can just gonna go ahead and put it in numbers over here this is 200 let's say this is 250 okay so I just draw the lines these lines as well this side is better okay and I'm gonna just put this data over here so this is 200 in January, uh, 250 in February, and uh, uh, March is like 220. Okay. So I want to predict for the April, May, and other things. Right. What I can do is I, I mean, I, I can see that it looks like a kind of regression. I have several points. I could actually draw a line like this, for example. So I can actually draw a predictive line which is fitting this three. Okay. And that might actually give us uh, a value of. Um, let's say 260 or something this one and this is predicted by taking these three points and this is actually called as auto regression in a typical regression what we have is x and y okay so you have x and y in a, in a normal regression you have x and y as several points and you fit a line and you kind of like use this line for predicting y value given the x in this case we don't have x and y we only have just y for example this is just y this is just a y one variable and i have time periods this is time so y are different points of time okay and what i'm doing is i'm using y i'm predicting y with respect to y itself so i'm using y with, with y i'm regressing y with y and that's why it's called as auto regression because you know when you say um, autobiography it's a it's a it's a you know it's a story about yourself right so anything auto means it's yourself so here we are regressing y with y itself we call it as auto regression okay mathematically if you want to look at this a traditional um, uh, regression is y is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 if you have more than one variable so a2 x2 a3, x3, and then you have a b. In this case, in the auto regression, we have yt is equal to y, let's say this is like uh, beta 1, yt minus 1. So yt is, let's say, y of your April. Okay, April is a month. This is yt. And this becomes y of t minus 1. This one time period before. This In this case, one month before, this becomes uh, y of March, the sales of March. This is y of t minus 2, the sales of February, and this is y of t minus 3, the sales of January. So the equation turns to be like this, y t minus 2 plus beta 3 y t minus 3 plus beta 0, which is equal to your v over here. The same regression equation, but written all in terms of y, with every y being a different point of time. And this is actually called as time period. I'm taking the time period of three in this case, and I'm using this three. So if you want to predict the next one, I'm going to take this three and draw, let's say, some line like this, and this will be the next prediction. Again, take this three and then draw something like the next prediction. This is all regression. It's one of the uh, oldest and highly, high, highly popular techniques, and it forms a part of your ARIMA model. You would have known ARIMA. ARIMA is auto regression integrated moving average. And I have a uh, extensive video on theory as well as Python coding on Arima in, in YouTube. I'll leave those links in the description for you to check out. But that's it. 
that's all the regression. Thank you for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe and click notification. I'll see you in the next video.